The investigation continues into a deadly officer involved shooting in Portland yesterday. It happened near 122nd and Ash after a call came in that the man was trying to break a car window with an axe. Jennifer Dowling is live now with an update. Jennifer. Yes, this area was taped off yesterday as police were conducting their investigation. Witnesses tell me the man was shot in this area by police after uh, they began chasing him. Uh, this is an apartment complex off of Ash Street. Uh, this was all happening yesterday afternoon at around 4.30. In addition to trying to break into a car in the parking lot of a Safeway, as reported by witnesses, uh, they said that he was also swinging the axe uh, near people. Now, cell phone video shows the man walking around with the axe in his hand. Police say when they arrived and confirmed Confronted him, they tried hitting him with less lethal rounds, then opened fire with actual bullets. After they shot him, officers tried to provide first aid, but he died at the scene. Timothy Allen was one of the witnesses who captured video of him before he was shot. A dude, man, just running towards people with the axe, uh, basically scared for his life, trying to get away from the cops. The cops followed him from down here, like up here, and shot him with the beanbag twice, and the man kept running down that street. The police bureau is asking any witnesses who may have been in the area but haven't spoken to police to come forward. They're also asking those with video and photographs to share that as well. And I just got done speaking with a man from the area who says that he actually knew the victim. He said that he was suffering from schizophrenia and a bipolar disorder. He said he saw him earlier in the day and he said he was uh, acting a little bit paranoid and concerned at that time. He said this was just before uh, all this happened. He bumped into him near uh, the Safeway parking lot. Uh, now, police, again, are doing an internal review on this uh, within the Portland Police Bureau. They're also going to have uh, the police review board uh, look over this as well. We'll have updates for you on this case coming up tonight at 4, 5, and 6. Back to you.